All right, hello, uh, fellow AR VR enthusiasts. Um, I'm just making this video for the UI UX class. Um, we're supposed to find three videos uh, and demonstrate different examples, um, but I figured I would just do a little comparison uh, in here between three different uh, creation applications in VR that I use. I was going to start with blocks and then go to Masterpiece and then check out Oculus Medium. Oculus Medium actually is now owned by Adobe. But uh, we'll see if they're going to change the name at some point. So this is Blocks. Uh, it's made by Google. It's very simple. Um, it's probably the simplest digital creation tool um, in VR, at least to my knowledge. Um, you can see right away when you get in here, you have uh, on your left hand, you have a panel here uh, with tools. Um, if you flip it around, you have your color palette, very intuitive. Um, on your right hand, you have uh, your, your brush, I guess you could say. Um, right now we have a block selected and on your on your hands you can use the thumbsticks to actually change um, between what you want your brush to be. So you can change from these ones. You can also change size up and down. Um, and all very intuitive. You know, click index finger to draw, click and let go to just create one. Um, and then you have different tools over here. So right now we're in the, you know, object tool, whereas there's a stroke tool. You see this insert shape, insert stroke. So we can also uh, draw like this. And again, up, down, pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Very simple, simple layout, you know, big eraser, um, modify, grab you know and then again this is something that we're going to see in a lot of these apps is uh that you can use your grip trigger that's these ones here with your index uh middle fingers i mean um and you can use one to kind of grab and move the world or both at the same time to scale and move the world So yeah, this is a very simple one. Um, you know, nice and easy. You can see how the, you know, there's a reaction when you hover over these things. You know, you hover your cursor over it, they pop out and they come into your controller when you click on them. So it's very, uh, very simple and comfortable and you could basically throw uh, throw anyone in here and give them very little instruction and they would be able to work with it. So let's jump into the next one. Let's, let's go to Masterpiece VR. All right, so right off the bat, um, here we are in Masterpiece. Um, default layout, you're in uh, this sort of a model of a room. And again, left hand, right hand, you know, you have your, your panel here with all kinds of tools and options. You can see there's way more options. Um, and it's a little bit more complicated, but still, still quite, uh, you know, easy to, to see, you know, like if you've worked in, in Maya or Blender, um, you know, or even like Photoshop that you see all the tools, all the windows, like this is not so bad. This is not so bad. It's, it's pretty, pretty intuitive. You know, you have a, a beam from your controller index finger to select. Um, and you hear there's like an audio 
um, reaction as well as a slight visual reaction when you hover over these icons. Oh, and now see we're getting windows popping out of windows with more options and lots of customizability here. Um, there's collaboration features. Uh, you know, it, it, this is something where, you know, you want to take a little bit of time to try to get used to the tools um, before you uh, sort of jump into something. But again, rel relatively straightforward, you know, just draw and using your index finger. And again, moving with the grip trigger here, you can see it move there and scale when you hold both. So these are very intuitive mo mo uh, movements, like being able to sort of grab the world and, and move it and move yourself around it. And then also to be able to scale um, in and out like this with your hands. This, just having these features in here makes working a lot easier than, than something like a Maya where, or ZBrush or whatever, where you have to sort of move yourself, move the object around constantly using the mouse. Um, here you can just kind of move it. Even you can use like one hand and move, you know, the object around while you're working on it. You know, erase, draw. So yeah, this is um, sort of like an intermediate level, but still pretty intuitive, you know, aesthetic. And I don't want to spend too much time, so I'll just jump right into the last one, which is going to be uh, Oculus Medium, which is my personal favorite. I probably spend the most amount of time uh, in here using this, and uh, we'll see. We'll see why in a minute. All right, so here we are. I start off um, very simple, very clean. Um, your left hand still going to be your tools. A lot of your tools are here, um, but they're they're sort of hidden. And you use your thumbstick actually to open up windows and and give us options. So if you push up with your thumbstick, you get this wheel with all the tools, clay, paint, smooth, inflate, cut, really like this. Um, very, you know, very straightforward. I like that it, they, they get they hide and they stay away. They're not distracting when you don't need them. Just one, you know, move your thumbstick up and then they're all here. You also have more tools here, mirror tool, lathe. And then a wonderful feature of this is that you have the ability to create layers and pulling down on your thumbstick gives you the window with the layers. Now, this isn't exactly the most pleasant. It's a little tedious when you have lots of layers built up here. It can get very tedious, but the there is a certain amount of, of comfort that comes from this because it's a little bit of a throwback to the more standard um, non-VR uh, DCC tools where you have this outliner or layers window. Um, so it's a little it's a little sort of old school looking and feeling, but in a way that's a little more comfortable because it's because it doesn't take a lot to to transition over to this. You can sort of just come in here and be like, oh yeah, I understand the layers locking, you know, childing layers. You know, it can be a little tedious. It's easier if you reach closer and uh, and do that, but but still, there's there's some problems. It's a bit fiddly um, with these like small things with a with a controller. You know, you might want to bring this over closer, and you know, like I'm having a difficult time getting this layer out of there. Oh, there we go. See, a little bit fiddly, but lots of options, lots of options and tools, and then you have. Uh, you know other windows that come up but i like that in here there's no there's no constant panel that's distracting you um you also have the color wheel 
that comes up. Oh, I gotta put it into paint mode. If I press uh, this, I get a color wheel or a color menu, I guess, that comes up here. And uh, and then I have more options here for in my brush. So as you can see, there's there's a lot more options. Um, there's a lot of options in here, uh, but but they're kind of neatly tucked away. Um, so when you don't when you don't need them, things can be very simple and straightforward. But then when you do need all the layers, when you do need all the tools, and when you do need like you know these features, they're here. But uh, not exactly the easiest or the funnest to go in here. Like as you can tell from comparing with blocks and even masterpiece you know there's very little feedback that you're getting from these you know you just have a very slight feedback and there's a very narrow you know it's a narrow point for you to to select and one thing that's really apparent is when you go to go to save and you want to type this this is a little bit tough you have to hover your uh, cursors here over them and select, which this I find is very, um, very frustrating. I, it would be a lot easier, I think, if you could just sort of type these out. Maybe the keyboard in VR is always um, a bit, I guess, a bit of a challenge. How do we re, how do we reinvent the keyboard uh, for VR? Anyways, um, that's just a little quick example of comparison comparisons between some some uh, different features in the, in these three in these three apps bye